Hey guys, it's Cam and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm breaking down this little mini tutorial that I actually recorded for Instagram, but I wanted to do a full YouTube video on this look because I love the way that it turned out. So I'm breaking everything down for you in this video. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and let's get into it. So I'm starting off with my Maybelline Superstay Foundation and recently I actually feel like this has been a little drying for me. I don't know if my skin's getting drier or what, but I'm still using a damp sponge to apply this and this is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Next I'm using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer under my eyes, around my redness areas, and also on my eyelids to prime for eyeshadow. And I've actually been really loving this concealer lately. It's a little lighter than the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define that I've been using, and I feel like a little more hydrating as well, and it just really blends in beautifully, so I love this concealer. Then I'm just setting everything with my e.l.f. translucent powder and I'm using the other side of the damp sponge and I feel that this really helps set everything so much better than using a brush. But usually I still go in with a brush, just like brush off any excess powder. And then I just take a big fluffy brush to set the rest of my face because doing it with a sponge will just set it like a little too much, you know what I mean? So now I'm taking my beloved Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer and applying this on my cheeks, around my hairline and my forehead and I really feel like I need a tan recently and I have this like gradual self tanning lotion that I've been using and I just don't feel like it's cutting it. I feel like I need to bring on the tan. <laughs> Next I'm taking my Anastasia Contour Kit and just kind of defining my cheekbones a little bit with this. Then I'm taking my Morphe 8C Blush Palette in the color It Girl, and I actually applied this with a brush that I just feel like is a little too big for applying blush with. <laughs> and then I'm taking my Milani Make It Last and just kind of like melting all those powders together. Then with the Makeup Revolution Goddess of Love Highlighter, I'm just highlighting really just my cheekbones in this one. I didn't like bring it on the forehead or anything. I wanted it to be a little more subtle. Then I took my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Taupe to define my eyebrows and recently I've loved building up like the arch of my eyebrow a lot and just making it a little more rounded and defined. And then I used the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette for the base of this look. So I'm taking Fancy That on my E40 and using this as my first transition color. So once that's all nice and blended in, I am taking the color Oh That's Rich on my E25, patting it in the outer corner and just really starting to build that up in my crease, which as you guys know, with my lovely hooded eyes, I really have to like try to carve out that crease and really create it. Then I just took my E40 again to blend it out a little bit and I probably dipped into Fancy That just to really help soften it and blend it out. 
All right, so now with the same ColourPop concealer, I'm doing a half cut crease here. And I'm really just using like a little brush that came with my L'Oreal gel eyeliner. And I've been loving this brush for doing cut creases, half cut creases, halo cut creases, what have you. So now I'm going into the color Princess Cut and really just applying this to the entire area where I have concealer and leaving it a little wet so that way like I can set it with it. Then I'm taking the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Millionaire. And I love this color because it's so like bronzy with this pink and purple like glitter in it. And it just inspired me to do this like brown and pink and purple sparkly eye look. So I'm using that to blend Princess Cut into the outer corner like shadow. And this not only created a really nice just pop of color on its own, but really also helped me blend the light pink to the dark brown. Then I just picked up some more Oh That's Rich to deepen up the outer V again, just so that I haven't lost any of that depth. Then I'm taking my BH Cosmetics glitter in the color Chameleon, and this is the one that's kind of like white with purple and pink sparkles, and it's so pretty and just really complimented this look. And like I just already knew that I wanted to do like this color combination and use this glitter. So I'm putting this kind of like on the inner third, covering like most of the pink, but not all of it. Then with the BH Cosmetics liquid eyeliner, I just did a thin line over the top to disguise the lash band. Then after just applying some black eyeliner into my lower waterline, I am picking up Fancy That Again on an E20 and just smudging it over the lower lash line. Then with Oh That's Rich on my Morphe M165 brush, I'm just smudging this closer to the lash line to add a little more depth. And then with Clutcher Pearls on my Sigma E47, I'm using this as an inner corner and brow bone highlight because it's got a pink undertone. And then of course, to add that drama and glamour, I'm using the Eyelore Grand Glamour Lashes. And then for the lips, I use Too Faced Mystical Lipstick in Fairy Tears. And I know this is an oldie, but a goodie. It is just so gorgeously like pink and shimmery and metallic. And I don't even know, it's just amazing. And it's like my favorite lipstick ever, so. <laughs> Alright, so I really hope you guys loved this look and hit that like button down below. And also don't forget to check it out on my Instagram page. And then I'll just leave you with a couple of more videos by me. And if you click on my face in that circle, it will subscribe you to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye loves.